Water is a valuable resource uh, and it's critical for the health, long-term sustainability and vitality of our natural ecosystems. But water is under threat. It's under threat from increasing population, land use change and climate change. These are what I refer to as wicked problems. They're multidimensional, multifaceted. In order to solve them, we need information from natural scientists, social scientists, and the humanities. We are in Black Bear Creek Reserve. This is one of my favorite places in Delaware. This is one of our study locations. I have several different projects here. They have one thing in common, is how land use impacts aquatic health. One of the challenges that we have uh, with respect to water quality is the excess amount of carbon, nitrogen, and phosphorus uh, which run off from the various landscapes. And these nutrients can enter our streams and water bodies and cause algal growth and eutrophication and therefore affect the health of these precious ecosystems. One of the organisms we study is diatom. We use diatoms because they are a good indicator species. They are abundance, their compositions tell us how the water conditions are. Our research has focused on looking at extreme weather events and the impact they have on water quality. Extreme weather events in the Northeast include tropical storms, hurricane events, nor'easters, or droughts and heat waves. Climate change predictions indicate that these events will intensify into the future. The increasing intensity of these events will impact our water resources and also the water quality of our aquatic ecosystems. Traditionally, as economists, we look at data from the past, but these problems are often to the future. As we anticipate the future costs associated with climate change, they will be highly dependent on how people adjust their behavior and adapt. Therefore, we use experimental economics as a tool to be able to look at behavior, to make predictions about future behavior, and ultimately to design policies that will work well to solve these problems.